Let's see, six minutes past nine is the time. They may have had a few lineup changes through the years, but five decades after the band, yes, first form, their music is still going strong. Perhaps most famous for their 80s hit, Owner of a Lonely Heart, they've established themselves as one of the most successive progressive rock groups ever. Well, in a moment, we're going to talk to um, a couple of the today's members about preparations for an anniversary tour. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, let's see you all in action. So, Steve and Jeff are both with us this morning. Very good morning to you both. Good morning. Thank you. Very rock and roll. I always like to, when we were chatting just before, we were talking about jam, weren't we? Oh, yeah. yeah. Very yeah. rock and roll. Very rock and roll. How things have changed, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fair to say. Tell us about that clip. Where was that? Did you say it was the Royal Albert Hall? Um, no, I think it was in Bristol. Um, we did a show about uh, three years ago at the uh, Bristol Colston Hall. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's from there, yeah. So it was one of the last tours that Chris Squire did with us, uh, and it's nice to see him up there again. Good old Chris. 50 years on since Yes oh. first formed. Um, what now is happening in terms of Yes? And is it a surprise that Yes is still going? It's a kind of evolutionary thing, you know. I mean, Yes just kept going and going and, and taking short breaks, maybe a couple of years, and then the lineup might change and we'd get back together and then we'd. You know, this this person would leave, and you know, it's just been a completely hodgepodge story for 50 years. Has it but... been um, a twisty, bitter story, or has it been just one of gentle evolution? I, look, part of it, it that's, has been. That's what you usually hear. Yeah, I mean, it? people leave sometimes because they really do want to do different music, you know, and Bill Bruford did that, and several Yes musicians have done that. They said, look, I, I don't want to do this, I want to do something else. But other times, yeah, there's a bit of intrigue, there can be some problems, somebody doesn't like a record we made or didn't like a tour. But, I mean, it's all a mixed bag, because in, in balance, it, it, it's got to go that way. Yeah, and it's, it's always been a musician's band. I think that um, that's one of the key things about Yes, is that it's, it's always sort of had musicianship to the fore, and I think that... You know, if you look at something like the Brits the other night, you know, the, it's a lot about the vocalists, whereas I think a band like Yes has always been about musicians, and, and I think that's a great thing why the band well, is the, still going. The Foo Fighters were recognised as well, which was like one of the yeah. things that a lot of people enjoy, right. seeing proper bands, so to speak, recognised. We come from that era where, with, uh, where it started with maybe Floyd and Genesis and ELP, and there's a wealth of bands from the 70s that, that really cared about their, their music. And I saw that picture you were showing us, uh, of Tony Kay and, and Bill Bruford in the early lineup. So there's been a lot of lineups, but they've, they've all had the same purpose to, to make great music. Things have a habit come in full circle, don't they? Like for, for the moment, uh, vinyl, for example, mm. people are buying vinyl uh, again. Right. Uh, are people coming back to yes or uh, kind of rediscovering them or new, new people sort of finding? about what you do? Well, I think a lot of those albums were made with vinyl in mind because that was really the only medium that was available at the time. And uh, uh, if you look at uh, some of Yes's music, like Close to the Edge, was very much two sides of an album. You know, it was very, very much... Um, that, that, was the way, that was the way that it was done. But uh, obviously things have changed quite a bit now. And, um, you know, it's people... great that people want vinyl. They want something that's that you know you can hold in your hand. It isn't just a stream. And it isn't just a download. So, you know, we're pleased that these these formats come back. I doubt whether cassettes will come back. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> That's no, true. no, no, no. But um, actually, though, a lot of the money made by bands these days is through touring. I mean, it, yes. it, it has changed so much, hasn't it? And that, and you guys well. are back on tour. Mm -hmm. We are. Yeah, we're back starting on the 13th of March. We're in Bristol then, and we finish in London on the 25th of March. And so, you're finishing with a fan convention. Yeah, we've got a fan What's convention. We're about? doing two nights at the, at the London Palladium, and the second day's got an afternoon event with some different acts and some cover bands and a whole load of fans. Get. I mean, it's been put together by the... Is it the Scottish or the... The, the British. British. The Scottish yeah, okay, fan club put this together, and we just gave them carte blanche and said, yeah, do this. So will you be there at this convention? 
then... Well, we'll be showing up to rehearse just towards the end of it. So, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll say hello. You were talking earlier about the style of the music, of the acid music, and look at some of those old clips. I'm always fascinated by crossover between a younger or newer artists. And are there people who, who you've met, I don't know, along the way, or have you heard about who are... I dare, dare I say, kind of unlikely fans of, of Yes or some of that, that style of <laughs> well, music. Well, funny enough, you mentioned the Foo Fighters, you know, and I, I know that they were very, um, very much influenced by Yes. Um, more, I think, is the fact that, uh, as I mentioned earlier about being a musician, I think that, you know, a lot of bands of, you know, certainly with someone like Steve, for instance, um, a guitarist will be, might be very influenced by Steve. So I think a lot of the new generation of musicians look to bands like Yes and ELP, uh, these Genesis, you know, the big bands from the, uh, from the 70s, the UK bands, uh, as the kind of iconic musicians. Do you know, I've spoken to Mick Jagger, who said he, he was never going to stop. Um, Elton John has just said... Mm -hmm. Right, I've got three. I'm going to do a goodbye tour. It's going to take three years. Steve, I'm not <laughs> yeah. going to say your age, but you're, no. in, you're in peak condition. I'm up there. You're, you're, yeah. <laughs> well, thank well, you. <laughs> but you look great, and you, but you need energy to be out on tour and do this. Yeah. What, what's the secret, then? Well, I don't think that it's a big secret. I think it's, it's a natural secret, you know. I mean, we, you know, my wife and I, we went with a sort of natural lifestyle pretty early on, you know, in the, in the uh, early 70s, in fact. So I think we've benefited from that with... with understanding the balance of food, you know, and getting rid of some of the excesses. Did you try to encourage the other members of the band to kind of... <laughs> well, we did have a short period <laughs> when, yes... Laughing. Yeah, there was a short period when all of Yes were vegetarian, and that lasted only about six months, and then I, I carried on, and um, a, a few other guys did, but most of the band went back to having more regular food, but that, that's their choice. But, I mean, good food, I mean, you know, it's worth having good food, that's all I can say. Well, it's, it's a good note to finish on. Lovely to see you this morning. Thank you very much. It is, you and much. enjoy, nice enjoy the tour. You. Thanks for coming on. Uh, right. You can catch Yes on tour across the UK, as Steve said, from the 13th of March. That's it uh, from us today. Have a lovely day. Uh, the Winter Olympics follows us on BBC One. Remember, that important curling semi-final with the women just after 11 o'clock. We'll keep our fingers crossed for them. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.